Hey everybody, Ashley Page here. Thank you so much for joining us this week on our educational vlog. For those of you who are new uh, to the educational vlog, what we do with that on Thursday is we take a deeper dive into one topic to sort of help your educational value or library as it were on money and markets. And that's in compare and contrast to the portfolio vlog that the portfolio team guys do on Monday, which was more week specific and broader in terms of what's going on in the market and also the research we send out from our research partners on Tuesday. So we think we have an interesting topic for you today that you may not have thought about in the way that it impacts money and markets. So here goes. 20% of the commercial real estate in the United States is now vacant. What impact does that have on your money? You know, initially that looks like a spurious correlation, but it's not. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go through that and we're going to address two fundamental points. Number one, why has that happened and the vacancy rate gotten up to as high level as it has which is its highest level in four decades, that's number one. And two, what is the impact of that dynamic on financial markets and what you need to watch? So first of all, most people think that the reason we have a higher vacancy level right now are the after effects of COVID. COVID was a significant factor. It was an accelerator on the end. But the truth of the matter is, is that commercial real estate in the United States, really beginning in the 1980s, has been on a very large growth wave and the capacity really has gotten too high. What's interesting about that geographically when you look at it, that's primarily a problem where we live here in the South because in terms of building commercial real estate projects, land is cheaper here and zoning regulations are easier. So if you look at places now where that average is even higher than 20%, they're in cities like Texas, actually three of them. Houston is one, Dallas is one, Austin is another. So when you look at that across the board, that vacancy rate at 20% is getting pretty high up there. Now, we're not talking about residential real estate. We're not talking about industrial real estate just commercial offices where people work. And we say that COVID was not the only impact in that four decade period. It was a major one because of the psychology of it. And it taught people how to work a little bit differently and not be so dependent on a brick and mortar office to leverage their business. You could learn different hybrid ways to do it. Um, Greg Powell, our CEO, and I are both the same age in our 60s. We've always, for the most part, worked in a commercial office. Our daughters, who are of similar age, Caroline and Audrey, really what they've known totally in their work environment is more of a hybrid. So you have had that change, but it's right on the end of a lot of overbuilding during that time. Uh, before I was at Five Plan Partners, and I'm in my 15th year with our firm here, um, my primary job was doing a lot of commercial real estate lending for larger banks here in the city. And it always struck me in that effort how many direct jobs were impacted by commercial real estate projects and how many indirect jobs were impacted by commercial real estate projects. On the direct side, for example, you have like a structural engineer that is involved in the planning of the building. On the indirect side, you have people say involved in the legal part for title searches to make sure the land where the building is being constructed is free and clear. What's interesting about all of the employment though, whether it's direct or indirect, is what we like to call very high value add. Those are people who are well-educated, make good money, have good experience. It is a very value-add type of profession. The reason we are calling that out for you to watch for the impact of money and markets as we are, 
Again, there's a lot of employment with it, and let us give you the total. The gross domestic product in the United States, over 800 billion, is impacted by development of commercial real estate or the commercial real estate that is always already constructed, the management thereof. Also, too, there are about 15.1 million jobs in the U.S., again, high value add, that are impacted by that. So the way that that impacts money and markets is, and you've seen it, I mean, we've all lived with it the last uh, couple of three years, employment impacts growth, growth impacts and which way that's going, impacts interest rates and how the Federal Reserve controls that, all of that has major market impact. So the other reason that we're bringing this up with you today is, is that when you see a topic like that and you think, well, commercial real estate vacancy, it does flow through because it is a major sector in the United States. I'll close and say that's one reason here at Five Plan Partners, we view wealth management in a holistic approach. It's not just what's in money and markets. The vast majority of our clients, their wealth is not exclusively there. They have timberland. They have commercial properties like this. They have beachfront property. They are percentage owners and LLCs that run a certain business. So if you're going both with our planning area and the consulting work that I run, you have to be able to encapsulate all of that holistically to help the client. So that's another reason we've brought this up on commercial real estate today to show you that in terms of management of your money, there are many impacts that you may see that don't seem to be correlated, but there are. So we hope that this has given you a little bit of insight of what's going on in that market sector in the United States and how it's impacted markets. As always, we love to hear from you on any social media platform. But at the same time, we love for you to just call us on the good old fashioned landline or come by to see us. We're always willing to talk about this topic and others. And until then, we hope you have a great week. Thanks. Mm -hmm.